Hello everybody, and welcome to, yes, The Grim Report, again, of course. Like I said, I'm going to try to do one every day, and this is going to be a different segment every once in a while. I'm going to have this, just like I have Are They Fake. This is five very haunted places in the state I live in, Arkansas. Okay? I don't know if they've been, they've been, there's people they've said, this is either going over what I'm saying, is that these are places that have either been proven, or people have been there and talked about them. Mostly probably proven that they're haunted, and some are even being, having tours of the place. I'm not sure if they're haunted tours or not. I will give you the link to the website if you guys want to check these places out. They have more information. I didn't want to give out any private or private information about the phone numbers or anything. So, but these are very haunted places in Arkansas. Okay? And yes, I will be trying to do one about every state I can get my hands on. And if at all possible, every country that I can get my hands on. I'm not sure if this is going to be a weekly thing or not. It depends on the review, the views that this thing's get. And, you know, this is the paranormal news, so that means anything paranormal. That includes conspiracies, UFOs, ghosts, hauntings, such as that. And not just that, but also if I see something interesting, I think you people will be interested in it. Like here coming up soon, I got something else coming up probably this week, that uh, we'll have to do with a special type of group that's in Japan that not many people know about. I can only get one website to tell me anything about it. And I won't reveal what that is. But I can put it this way, I got this idea from family. So let's do this. All right. This is no particular order, so I'm not saying this is number one, I'm not saying this is number two, but here we go. This is in Little Rock. Years ago, a young man was driving down Arkansas 365 south of Little Rock when he saw a young girl on the roadside. He offered to give her a lift. Now, you know, you just picture... A man, you know, he's driving. He sees this young girl. And as in, I'm picturing maybe a teenager. Maybe pretty, whatever. He offers, you know, give her a lift. He draped his coat over his shoulders because she was cold and soaked from the rain. She gave him directions to her house. When the young man got out the car and walked around the other side door to help her out, of this her seat no one was there vanish basically you put bring this girl to the house she vanishes it's like not even there confused the man walked up to the house and knocked on the door a woman answered and, and he explained what had occurred she said the young girl was her daughter who was killed years ago she hitchhikes back home once a year the young man went then drove to the cemetery to see the young's grave. There he found his coat draped over a drape. Can you imagine what this guy's going through this guy's head? Okay. I get this girl a ride. She's wet. You know, most girls aren't wet. You know, don't get wet with rain. You know, rain goes through them. Of course, then again, most of them don't sit down and probably... I'm pretty sure they had to hold a conversation. Because he, she did tell him where to go. So, you go to this grave, you talk to the mother, you talk to this woman, and her mother, she tells her that it's her daughter who died years ago. And that this occurs every year, once a year, that this girl hitchhikes home. He goes to the grave, and his coat is right there on the grave. Can you imagine what's going on this guy again? I mean, wow, really? Alright guys, Hornbrook House, the Express of Little Rock. Originally built as the most extravagant dwelling in the state, 
by the wealthy saloon keeper James H. Hornbrook. The house currently operates as the Express of Little Rock, a luxury bed and breakfast. Several paranormal encounters have been witnessed by the owner, Robert H. Blair. Workers and guests Blair saw a period of dress period dressed gentleman complete with top hat floating downstairs while restoring the secret po poker room in the art attic hired painter Timmy Watts found himself locked out even though no handle or lock was on the door yet when he returned the screw screwed out let him back himself back in Watts saw the door was now open and the same image of the man that Blair previously witnessed appeared before him four more For him, I mean, he's right in front of him. You imagine that you're doing your job, you go to do something, you get locked out of this room, but there's no handle, nothing. So you go get a screwdriver to let yourself in. I guess he's gonna take the door off the hinges. Bam! This man just appears there, right in front of you, right in your face. I mean. What would you say? The old arsenal. Located in MacArthur Park. Old Arsenal was one of the many buildings that are comp comprised the state's munitions storage facility and how and now houses the MacArthur Museum of Arkansas. It's basically a museum right now, guys. Military history. Many sightings of apparitions have been reported, including the duel between two unexplained shadows. A playful spirit who likes to throw things from the top of the staircase. A solid figure man who mailed into the air once employee. an employee had made contact. The sound of music, laughter, and taking talking have been also heard from the second floor. Although the investiga investigated, no one is pressed for more information. Contact. Okay. No one is present. Basically, they go upstairs, check on what's going on. Say, so you something's thrown down the stairs. They're like, what the, f what in the world? You go up there, check it out. Nothing's there. I mean, nothing at all. Period. It's like your voice could echo. I guess. If it's considering some museum of an old armory, I mean, I'm thinking it could have been people that had children at one time. Okay. Here we go. Currently the home of Little Rock Visitors Formation Center, the house was originally built by Colin and Ebenezer Walters for his bride, May Mary. Mary Walters was never able to see a completed structure as she died in childbirth just before the house was finished. Grief stricken Colonial Walters Colin Walters left the state and the house was owned by several different people, some of them some of whom have reported experienced the presence of Mary Walters Visitor Center. Staff has also experienced eerie occurrences including a picture coming off the wall, a coffee machine making coffee no with no grounds or water present. A team of supernatural experiences supernatural experts has captured voices recording saying Mary, that's who I am. Okay. That is, this is the last one, guys. Argentine Historical District. And our Little Rock. Most of these are in Little Rock. The present day Argentine District in North Little Rock has tension filled past. The Argentine riot, race riot. And of 1906 led to hanging and shooting of innocent restaurant owners Homer and black men at the agent of Argentine City Hall. A fire station day, the building house of the North Little Rock History Commission and visitors employee of the have reported strange occurrences in the building, including unexplainable noises, footsteps, and the eerie sound of a man rasping and choking in the same area at night 4.15 p.m. 
415 Main Street. Many reported uh, visions of a woman and man walking arm in arm have been made. I was at five of very haunted places in Little Rock, Arkansas. My state capital. Now, if you guys are wondering if I'm going to uh, do any more, yes, I do. I plan on doing more of this. Like I said, it depends on how many views I get of this. I really want to make this a very, very well received thing. I'm wanting to make sure everything with this segment five, because it will be just not just haunted places. I also do five conspiracies or whatever, whatever you guys want to talk about, like maybe five cryptids, you know, the most seen five, very most seen, the most seen of five, you know, cryptids, five of them. That some you may not know about, some you may, you know. I say I won't do one with Bigfoot and I won't do one about Dogman, but I will do one about uh, one that you may five that you may not know about. I'll do the history of those as well, but then later on I will do uh, if see if there's any sightings of them. Let me know how you like this. I really enjoyed doing this, it took me a bit. Oh yeah, guys. There was a web. There is a website. I looked it up, but you guys just look up um, hauntings in Arkansas, and um, you should get the website, and you'll get more information. There's even more on there. I just did five. You wouldn't believe how haunted Arkansas is. I'm pretty sure there's places that I don't even know about, and I live in the state, so. I will be doing others, like I said, depending on how this is received. I plan on wanting, I'm wanting to make this a kind of like a series, so this will be, like I said, different states. And uh, I will do if you want me to do your state, or if you know one in your state of one, if you know at least five, um, or just one, just let me know where you live at. You know your state, and not your city, your state. And um, I'll look that up because I don't want no information going out that you don't want going out. No names will be said or anything. So, yeah, I'm holding to that. But like I said on the werewolf thing, if you have ghost encounters or anything like that, I'm not the person to go to. I will be leaving, well way you guys <clears throat> send me it like i said send it to me through comment not downstairs but through a comment thing i'll get it out to the person that uh i think will do your story justice and if they want to do it i'll let you know who wants to do it you give me their email your email or whatever if you want to do that and I'll give it to that person. And you guys can get in communication. <clears throat> okay? So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, good luck. Good night. God bless.